In today's video, I'm going to show you guys the two defenses that I love to use in the red zone, whether we're like 10 yards out or two yards out. I'm going to show you guys both of them and my reasoning behind it. Before we get into today's video, I need you guys to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, turn notifications on, all that good stuff. We're going to be in the Detroit Lions playbook. So after you hit the like button for good luck, right you're gonna go jump on the detroit lions playbook and then you can just practice the stuff that i'm about to show you all right simple as that now the name of the defense we got classic ones there's two defenses that i run from the 10 and then another one that i run from like the five or the four and i'm going to explain the reasoning behind it i've already gone over one of the defenses but i'm going to tell you why i run it okay three four odd cover four drop show two one of the best the best defenses you can run in the red zone right now very classic defense now you don't just run the defense and expect it to do everything for you okay there's procedures to this because what a lot of people like to do there's two things that they like to do when they're using or when they're trying to run plays in the red zone one is they like to throw rpos the second is they like to run with the quarterback and if you're facing the lamar jackson bro be ready you're gonna have to follow my my setups and stuff like that to slow this guy down now, this is full-scale Lamar. This isn't Mutt Lamar. Regs Lamar will curb stomp Ultimate Team. Ultimate Team Lamar, not even, I mean, this guy's awesome in regs, bro. So if we can slow down Lamar in regs, then we're going to be in good shape already. Okay, so one thing that you do not do with this defense is you don't base a line. Most of the time, I do base a line, but if I'm expecting the pass... If someone's passing the ball within the red zone, this is the defense I use. I don't use run-stopping. This is considered a run-stopping defense, but not really. It's not as good as it used to be to stop the run. Now it's okay as far as stopping the run. Not the best one by far, but I'm going to show you guys what I do here. So to start it off, you're going to have two problems in this play that are going to happen, and I'm going to show you guys how to solve them. First one is going to be your curl flats. You can't have purples out there no more. Once you're this close into the red zone, it's time to go to hard flats. So wire triangle right stick down for underneath. You need to have the hard flats. What that's going to do is it's not only going to make your hard flats play low, closer to the line of scrimmage, it's also going to make your hook zones play low. So now you're going to be faced with the problem. Okay, The problem is going to be, since we're getting all our zones to sit low, well, they can hit us over the top of the backfield in open areas. So this is where your two adjustments are going to come in. Whenever I see a trip set, okay, this is the way I scrape the field myself. I'm going to leave this guy on his blue. Look at his blue. I'm going to come down here so the blue stretches out. I'm going to leave him on that blue right there. Come on, Thornhill, go back. What are you doing, bro? Come on, man. Don't be that guy, bro, okay? And then I'll just bring him down about right here. Now, once I do that, I have two options here. One is I can spread the D-line and try to contain Lamar. What that's going to do it's going to force Lamar, if I can lock everything up, he's going to want to run the ball. So this is where you pick your poison. You can get rid of a hook curl, okay, and try to contain Lamar, regs Lamar. You don't have to do this in Mutt, trust me. Lamar and Lamutt, you can just press the right stick in to close in on the quarterback. The right stick in will get the closest defender to close in on him. I mean, I guess. I guess you could still do some work. So you're going to be usering the safety, okay? Now, the way I scrape this play right here is, I'm going to go from right and then I'm going to go left because this is this is a route on the inside that can develop inside in between me and the other safety on the left side. So as we see, let them snap the ball, you're going to see what, are the, what is the choice they're going to make. Got this guy, got this guy, he's got nothing open. There he goes to try to run with Lamar. He's actually trying, the computer's trying to actually run with Lamar. But that's why we spread the line and contain to try to create create that illusion for him to actually run through the middle with this defense right here same thing let's see what he's got we don't base the line route route there he goes trying to run you see and then you can try to force a fumble now in regs if you've won too much you're not going to get the fumble okay he's going to be able to get away with it so how are you going to counter that if you're a good player you're not getting that fumble i don't care who you are you're not making lamar fumble if you're worried about the mobile QBs, you, you are going to base a line, okay? Mobile QBs, you can base a line, and then you take, like, Hitchens, the one that you can cover his uh, work for him, put him on a QB spy. You never QB spy opposite your user. 
always QB spy on the same side as your user. Okay, that, that's the next rule. We spread right here because now I can still cover underneath and still come over the top and wait for something in my area right here. And that's what exactly what I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna wait in my area. Boom, boom, got some here, got some here. Wait for him to throw it. There's a QB spy out there, but remember, Lamar is fast. Regs Lamar does not play games. And I pity the day this Lamar shows up. You know what I'm saying? QB spy shade underneath. And then you can bring this guy down over here. This is what I like to do. I like to bring it down. So now where are you gonna get where are you gonna get dealt with in this defense right here? You're gonna get dealt with on RPOs if your linebacker can't get out there. So this is what I mean by the base aligning. This is where it becomes a chess match. Okay, you can play trips like this, but if he does hit you with the RPO, guess what? It slides out. That's right there. I didn't just I didn't just play no good defense. I'm trying to explain to you guys, but that's how you're gonna play the defense. You're gonna have to guard those routes yourself. That's why they're coming over there and we're gonna do it again we're gonna let him read it and that we'll pick it up ourselves okay we'll start in the middle i didn't bring this other guy down boom play this route and there he goes trying to run because i have the routes covered and you're gonna see that a lot online is lamar trying to run into the end zone i see it all the time so if you want to stop rpos you shade underneath okay and then spread the d line and do not baseline set a qb spy but just know what areas of the field you're weak at right here boom boom right here there he goes, click the right stick in, and we got someone there to slow him down. So this is superstar Lamar, not being able to do what he wants on my field, okay? Shading underneath, base align or don't. I'd rather you not base align at the beginning and then start base aligning. Now this is contrary to the other ways that I throw my, I, every time I talk to try to explain something to you guys, he throws the ball, okay? Now watch. I'm not going to say nothing, and now he's not. He's going to try to run the ball in. He's actually a QB spy, okay? I'm going to be quiet. All right, Lamar, it's all yours. Just like that. You know what I'm saying? And in game, I'm going to be there to pick that ball off all the time, too. I'm not going to be talking, trying to explain this stuff, right? So not base aligning is going to help you with the RPOs. Base aligning is going to hurt you with screens and RPOs. Although I don't think you can get a screen off on cover four drop. Now, this is contrary to the way I play cover four drop whenever I'm playing uh, uh, when it's not the red zone. When it's not the red zone, I take Thornhill, right? And I put him on an inside third like this and I bring him down so I can use her this guy. Difference being is on a trip set, I want you to look at the Y route, which is going to be number 83. I can't think of the name. Okay, I'm bad with names. He's gonna be open, bro. Watch his route. Watch his route develop. Boom, right there in the end zone on the inside. You see that? So that's why I do not put it inside third. Instead, I will let the play come to me. I'll just leave him down here, uh, shade underneath, spread the line, put this guy on a QB spy. And this is one of the defenses that I love to use in a red zone because it's just, it's just hard to beat, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's just hard to beat. So you could cover a trip side and just, you're gonna have to force all the passes towards you. And that's what I love about running this especially against trips formations you can run this the exactly same way against any formation in the red zone now there's going to be a problem when you come over here and you're inside the two inside the two your opponent's going to start thinking in his head i'm not passing the ball bro are you crazy i'm not what they're going to try to do they're going to be trying to run like inside zones if they're in uh if they're in shotgun or they're going to be trying to run heavy so what i do is i come to the 335 sam and i run the cover two now what i do is i put the best safeties in the back so right here okay boom boom we're, we're good right there we're, we're good with that as long as uh uh what's his name matthew's in the back so we come to cover two man and then they'll try to run something from anything it doesn't matter what they were let me try to find like a, at least a decent run play right let's try wing pair ah they don't have no good plays bro i don't know if this is I mean, toss ain't going to work, but let's just run toss. It's, it's all good. Okay. Cause some people do like to run toss. It's just, I know it's not going to work. So we're going to press and shade underneath, underneath, underneath and inside underneath inside is how you're going to shade. You're going to put these two guys on spies and then you're just going to spread the D line, spread the linebackers and you're going to play the middle of the field with this user. Okay. And then you're just going to rely on your defense too make the stop as you see how we set the defense up to where you can't run the ball there's just literally nothing you can do now one time again we're going to press this is the red zone aspect of this defense press shade underneath shade inside spy this guy bring him down 
and spy this guy and leave him there. Spread the D-line, boom. And it's like the other video. It looks like you can run up the middle, but I promise you can't. These guys will collapse on the inside, and you just see that the defense for run stopping is just, it's just awesome. And it works really well if they do shotgun you and they want to try to run inside zone because what I do is when they're at the two-yard line, I'm playing the run regardless if they pass it, okay? They're going to have to beat me on a pass. There's no way I'm going to let them run inside zone on me. So inside zone, press, shade underneath, like this, okay? Just like that. Spread, spread, just like this. And then he's going to try to run inside zone. And then I just try to shoot the gap. I got people there to slow it down. Now, if it's if it looks like you guys can't get there, you may have to baseline press. So baseline press, press, shade, shade underneath, bring these guys down. Do, do not be afraid to baseline in your mad defense. Here we go again, same thing. User in the running back. We can shoot the gap ourselves. He drops the ball. You see what I'm saying? This is why this defense is one of the best to stop the run. Baseline press, shade underneath, inside, spy. What's gonna happen though is your opponent's gonna wanna quick hike you. So just do the most important, which is baseline underneath and spies. And then we just wait. We shoot the gap and another fumble. And he'd probably get a touchdown if you're, if you're unlucky. Like that guy just got a touchdown off the fumble. That happens. That's just a Madden thing. Okay, so if you if you don't like the way this looks, you base a line, press shade underneath. Okay, get you guys to where they're supposed to be to stop this run play. Okay, and then you don't have to. In some, some insides, the reason I like the way I set up this for the inside zone is because I can shoot the gap clearly. You know what I'm saying? But if you don't like it, do it the other way. Do it do it another way, bro, okay? Because it's up to you. And by the way, I'm taking these linebackers out and using a free safety, so there's that. Again, inside zone, I can shoot the gap myself and hit stick this guy. You see what I'm saying? So every time I shoot the gap and hit stick him, that's a fumble automatically. So those are the defenses I wanted to show you. Um, if they're this close, make them beat you with the pass. Don't allow them to run. Just baseline press, shade underneath. QB spies like this. Bring them down. Okay, your opponent's going to try to do this as fast as he can. Spread and spread. That's it. And this is the run-stopping formula that I use. That is, it's just awesome, bro. Okay, it's just awesome. That guy's hit power makes this running back fumble every single time, my man. That's Hitchens. You know if Hitchens on you. And like I said, you probably want to use our safety with high hit power. Probably be your best bet. So those are the ones that I wanted to show you guys, the two. There's other ones you can run in there, but as I practice more of them, I'll let you guys know about them. You know what I mean? Make sure you drop a like. Love you guys, man. Peace.